Hello everybody, it's really early so sorry if I'm talking low but um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Magno Sand. It is very cool and squishy. It's moldable, you can mold it into just about any shape you want. It's squeezable and pokeable. So, it does, first thing I want to tell you, this does not take any glue, borax, eye contact lens solution, you know, all those things that in a regular house you probably don't have. And it only takes two ingredients. And I will show you that next. So, things you will need. You will need mixer. So I just get a normal silverware bowl because these ingredients will wash off. So then we take our bowl and you'll need flour. Lots of it, so I'm probably gonna have to get more and water. So Hold on, everybody. Sorry for the hold up. Be back in one sec, guys. So, got some more flour in there. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you need something to stir with. Personally, I just use a spoon. So, you take your flour and you don't really need to use a spoon to do that. You just need to kind of pour it. Pour a, a generous amount like that, and then add in probably, I don't know, about this much water. I'm really sorry, I'm very unsteady cooking this. So you're going to want to put about this much water. You can add more if that's not enough, but I use about that. Then you mix it, and it will become this, like, doughy. But that's not it yet. Once it becomes really doughy, we need more flour to coat it in order, it, in order for it to be non-stick. Without that, it would be terrible. So everybody, when it if it starts crumbling like this, just add a bit more water, and that will bring it together. So water brings everything together. So see you guys in a minute when I'm finished stirring. guys so I finished the ring and now I have this big blob and now what you're gonna want to do is take a handful of of flour and put it on like a cutting board or something and just coat that cutting board then take out or you gotta coat your hands with it too like that then take out your little blob here and place it there 
you're just going to want to start kneading it and pulling it and getting it all the flour coated on it so it's not sticky and any sticky parts that do like this you're going to want to coat them with more flour like this and you're going to want to flour this right up like you're powdering a baby like baby powder but the effects are different if you use a lot of water then it will come out more squishy and you know moldable and a lot looser like that but if you know if you use like a little tiny drop of water and lots of flour it will come out harder I did a little bit too much water in this one but it's not my exact desired and texture but the one over here did come out pretty good in my opinion so that's how you make magno sand bye